Welcome back to News Plus, everyone. I'm Mark Seagraves. Well, News Plus went over to Alexandria to the King Street Blues to catch up with a local bluegrass band that's doing their part for charity. Nancy Lisi is one of many cat jammers that contribute their time and love of bluegrass each week to raise money for multiple local and national charities. Nancy shared the story of how the Cat Jam was founded and why this is no regular jam session. Well, here we are at the Cat Jam again, every Thursday. Uh, we schlep our equipment in, and uh, a lot of major musicians come in here. And it's not about us. It's not about King Street Bluegrass, which was my band that started with me for the charities. It's not about Split String Soup or Beacon Hill or any of these great bands and performers. It's about the charities. We play for charity every week. We've been doing that since October of um, 2010. We started out rescuing some cats from Rosecroft Raceway and uh, they helped us rescue them. There was a lady there that took care of them. And what happened is we had to get them revetted. They had to have rabies shots. They had to have treated for fleas or maybe any little injuries they had. They were pretty healthy because they'd all been taken care of. And uh, we ended up getting them uh, all revetted by this lady who ran Cattails Inc. She spent $9,500 getting these cats revetted. And so she was bankrupt. She couldn't do anything else. Uh, she couldn't do her regular rescues because of this. So we felt really bad. And I said, I'll pay her back. And everybody said, well, I don't know. I don't know if we can pay back $9,500. Maybe we get a grant or whatever. So I'll tell you, I'll go down the road and I'll to this club and I'll play music for tips. So they let me and I was setting up and in walked my band. King Street Bluegrass, and they said, Nancy, we're not going to let you do this by yourself. All my friends got together. We did a big email campaign, and they did a big flyer campaign, and uh, they got homes promised for all these cats. It turned out to be 110 cats time it was all over. Once we reached our target, we paid the, all the expenses for that, $9,500, and then we graduated to human charities. Like I tell everybody, every week you always get bombarded in the mail with little things of can you give to this and can you give to that. And of course nobody can really do that or you'd like to, but now I feel like I can contribute this way and I can do the things I probably always wanted to do but never got around to by putting some money in the tip jar or playing or whatever and, and pick the charities that I like and contribute to those. So I think it's a great, you know, it's a great thing. And it's the charity that keeps it going, not really the music. If anybody has a charity, Come here Thursday night at King Street Blues, 8 o'clock. Come to the Cat Jam and suggest it. And we'll we'll pick for it. We'll play for it. Simple again. Rocky Top, you'll always be home sweet home. Good old Rocky Top. Rocky Top, Tennessee. Rocky Top. Thank you. 
give a nickel, give a dime. It's all for charity. Got a lot of the same notes in it and okay. some of the same key. Cool. All right.